Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a bit of an unplanned video. It is a beautiful October sunny day in Guernsey. Unexpected, as it is for the south of the country. Sorry about that in Scotland. But anyway, welcome back to the channel. And we've been out for a little drive. We didn't intend to film today, but we've seen or I've seen a dolmen and a dolmen is an ancient um, burial grave site they date back centuries millennia actually this one's about four and a half thousand BC and we thought we'd share it with you it's only quick but we thought we'd share it with you so we go from golf to the millennium stone to ancient megalithic remains and a nice little tale about a fisherman that got caught up with a witch so hope you enjoy and if you do subscribe please press press the like take a look we're in the middle of Lancrest common which is also a golf course. But I'm not here to play golf. I'm here to go and see the Millennium Stone. Originally, this was in the centre of St. Peterport. It was laid in the year 2000 by Her Majesty the Queen. And uh, she came over and did the unveiling in the centre of town. She didn't have to walk up this uh, track to get to the stone to unveil it. We actually were in the marina on our boat at the time having a great time to be honest with you but uh, yeah it was good but we couldn't see the Queen over the crowds but still we had plenty of champagne and plenty of friends it was great. So we'll take you up this steep hill, well relatively steep anyway, to the Millennium Stone. <clears throat> to arrive here, you're right on the putting green. Yeah, you do have to be careful of golf balls. And you can see people playing golf. But this is a common as well. The other thing you have to be careful of is rabbit holes. They're all over the place. Need to stick to the pathways so as not to interfere with the golf. And we'll go up to the Millennium Stone. Yeah, I am out of breath. <laughs> Go across the front of it first. And you can see it has on it the year 2000. It's just a piece of Guernsey granite. Hopefully, because I'm right by this piece of Guernsey granite, no golf balls are going to hit me. But I wouldn't guarantee it. beautiful stone and the view there across the common the golf course 
the beaches, the car park, that's Landcrest Bay. And coming around still further past the shadow of the stone, up there we have more ancient remains and another dolmen and the German fortifications. Let's go for the dolmen. Still being careful of the rabbit holes. There are two stones, standing stones here. I'm going to go to the smallest first and see what this is all about. The fisherman who caught no fish, called Jean Faller, very Guernsey name that, had mistakenly offended an old witch. Goodness me. He dropped his hook over the edge, waited for a bite, but he fell asleep and he was awakened by a terrifying storm and Jean's boat was rolling over, crashing waves, rapidly filling with water. And he headed for shore. He looked up into the storm and was terrified to see an old woman sitting on top of the mast. And she was the leader of a group of sorceresses who were all shrieking with laughter. He got back to shore. He jumped onto the back of a cow and raced home. And the witches and wizards were highly amused by this. Finally reaching the cottage door and locking it behind him, he fell to the floor exhausted. Once under his own roof, Sean no longer feared the sorcerers. From that day on, he was always careful to treat old women with great respect. And as one, so you should. Still not entirely sure what the relationship to the stones is, even after reading the whole story. But nice stone, nice view. Now let's go to the dolmen. We're only talking a few yards here. If I'm making it out like a trek, then I'm sorry, I'm wrong. <laughs> so this is Lavard. It's actually a prehistoric passage. Sorry, prehistoric passage grave. It's the most impressive surviving megalithic structure in the island. Apparently it's bottle shaped, you'll see from the, uh, the plan there. And it was built between 4000 and 2500 BC. But was used until around the late Bronze Age, 1000 BC. It's 10 metres long. The capstone weighs well over 10 tonnes. And the uprights are graduated in size from the entrance down to the rear. It was discovered during military exercises in 1811 when they found skulls and bones. Quite amazing. Let's see if we can take a look inside. Hopefully the light on the camera will adjust quite easily.
Gosh, it is quite large. So I now have a stone of 10 ton above my head. The hum of the insects is amazing. I'm hoping they're just flies. We will take a walk towards the back because it's a shame not to take the opportunity. That's a bit of a worry. It looks like it's been shored up. And then there's another little chamber at the back, which is probably impossible to see. And as I turn round and the light takes over, you can see the entrance here. I'm having to bend down quite a bit. I'm five foot two, so. And you come out to the magnificent view. I'm gonna put the camera down and see if we can get a view. Hopefully, that gives you a bit of an idea of scale. Not quite as old as Le Trapier Dolmen, but my God, what the hell has gone on here over the years? And it makes the Millennium Stone look quite small in comparison. Quite fascinating. And people are playing golf all around this megalithic structure. So we'll make our way back. So I'll take my life in my hands again and go through the golf course in the hope that I don't get hit by a golf ball. So we're going back down now to the road. The road bisects the uh, the golf course. So there used to people walking along this path, which takes you from one side of the golf course to the other, all Landcrest Common. So we're going to spend the rest of our afternoon in the garden usually around mid-October. The heavens open and they don't close till March in Guernsey. That sounds very pessimistic, but it's generally true. We are a bit wet. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. Please subscribe if you did. Please give us a thumbs up if, of course, you liked it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.